We're joined by Grant Wallach, the sales manager of the Piano Place in Troy on the Oakland County Megacast. Grant, thank you for being with us. Oh, I'm just happy and privileged to be anywhere. It's my pleasure. Oh, aren't, aren't we all at, these, at, at this time in history? So how are you? How's your team at the Piano Place been through all this? Well, actually, we're feeling quite strong. It's been you know, strange for everybody, difficult for everybody. Um, each business probably has different problems. Ours is when you consider that it's definitely a hands-on product that we're selling on, like insurance, made it extra difficult. So we had to learn to adapt. And actually, in the time we were off, we had to think of different avenues and different methods that we've never thought of before. And thankfully for the internet and online um, communication, what we did is we made sure that we had all of our inventory uh, pictured or several pictures of each and put it online so people can uh, browse through our inventory. And those that were interested, I was able to come in uh, being by myself and actually highlight the particular piano or pianos they were interested in. And I would take different angles and shots from all different positions. And then I would perform and play it to give them audio samples of the pianos and it, it really quite worked. Now, if they're really seasoned professionals, most will likely will want to actually try the piano. And now that we're open, and just previously before by appointment, that was possible. And of course, we use all kinds of precautions when you come in. We try to disinfect the keyboards particularly, and the, the doors that the customers have to use for entrance and exit. And we require masks and we have a, others uh, masks available for those who forget or don't have one and of course we keep proper distance so doors are reopened people can now come back in the stores and you mentioned while while uh, your staff was away and those doors were mostly closed to the public during the bulk of the pandemic that you had to make a lot of adaptations and changes and did a lot of brainstorming so now that the doors reopened how is the layout of the piano place different what are some new operations that are in place and precautions that are in place as far as social distancing and and so on well, I mentioned that are being that. put in place um, I, I mentioned those things early, just earlier that um we have a fairly big space, so it's very easy to keep our distance uh, with customers. And we don't have throngs of them usually all at once, at least at this point. And then uh, we maintain our distance, we use masks, we disinfect the keyboards before and after the customers try them out. And that's the main thing, because we didn't have to really change anything that much physically other than that. A lot of businesses transition a lot, a lot of their inventory and a lot of their business over to the virtual space during, as you mentioned, some of the methods that the piano place in Troy has had used throughout the pandemic to make, make that shift. Are some of the virtual elements of operating your business during the pandemic going to continue on in some capacity after the pandemic? And, and how has that maybe changed the dynamic of how the business is run and, and affects the future of it? Well, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to continue using it. It was fairly new to me, and it proved to be a very important avenue that even post-pandemic we can continue to use because people can browse from their um, home, and then when they get serious, then they can come in. And it really is a, a great step prior to actually meeting the customer in person. Well, that's good to hear. Grant Wallach, the sales manager from the Piano Place in, in Troy, Michigan, joining us on the Oakland County Megacast on our family of stations throughout the local area. So uh, just a couple more minutes with you, Grant, before we have to let you, you go. Um, well, the other thing, we were able to reflect and uh, see our situation, yeah. and uh, we are now replenishing our inventory because it was hard to get things in, and now they're coming on the way. We have a, a boatload of uh, pre-owned Yamahas and Kwais on the way, and then a lot of new instruments, and we carry some of the most fantastic uh, new instruments that are available in the world, up to seventh generation families that own them, complete uh, European pianos uh, that are really remarkable instruments.
Well, that's great to hear, and we thank you for being with us today. Sorry, we have to we have to move on. We have a lot still to go uh, to get to today, wow. but we thank you for being with us, Grant Walk. Before I let you go, anything else you'd like to say about the piano place in Troy and, and your operations going forward? Well, I like to think that it's probably the best first place to go because I like to educate people. I think of myself as an educator rather than just a salesperson. And education is probably the most important thing in one person's life. Music education adds um, a lot to a person. It helps coordinate the mind and the body. And it um, is just a, a great way of expressing your emotions. And we like to help in that way any, we, any way we can. Well, that's good to hear. And I, I can attest that mu music does definitely help you become a better learner and become a, a more engaged learner and think in different they ways creatively. Brief as IQ scores and yes. SATs results and it's just a wonderful thing, you know, it soothes the savage beast. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us today. Grant Wallach, the sales manager of the Piano Place in Troy, with us on the Oakland County Mega Cash.